Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new game hub emulator android version 3.0.5 update and seeing what's actually new in this emulator to get started if you just go and go to the settings afterwards the about section you'll be able to tap on the app version and update it to the game hub emulator version 3.0.5 in today's video we'll be trying it out and i'll be showing you guys the best settings gameplay and much more but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as i upload similar video on my channel let's get started once you have successfully updated this emulator just restart it to get started let's talk about what's new in this brand new version of game hub emulator basically some internal improvements have been made to optimize performance provide better stability and better compatibility with games and it now works even better on flagship gpu android devices in terms of fixing graphical issues and so on because if you guys know devices such as my realme gt7 pro face lot of graphical issues because they do not have the custom mesa turnip adreno driver support but here we go once the latest version of game hub emulator has been loaded you'll be able to see there hasn't been any major change in the ui but if we just go and go to the steam section we can also log into our steam account and start emulating our steam games natively on our android device let me show that as well so we'll need to log into our steam account first once you have successfully logged into steam you'll be able to check out all of your steam games as well so here you will be able to see all my steam libraries being showcased now if i just go and go back in this section you'll be able to see steam store watch dogs and all the other steam games using the game hub windows emulator so if we go to steam store it will open up the actual steam on your android device but you'll need to be logged in if you want to add steam games on your android device you can do that as well from the steam store section anyways let's go back to the home menu and try emulating our first game which is going to be assassin's creed rogue so here i'll go to the game settings set the game resolution 800 by 600 for best performance afterwards in preset parameters go with performance parameter in terms of gpu drivers for snap Dragon 8 Elite, we have the latest 8 Elite 800.33 graphics driver. If you have a Mali GPU Android device, you can go with System Graphics Driver. If not, then for Snapdragon processor Android devices, go with Turnip 25.2.0 Revision 4, which is the latest graphics driver. DXVK, we can keep it as default, and everything else, you can keep it as default. Let's enable input mapping and try out our first game, which is going to be the official Assassin's Creed Rogue. And there we go, our game has successfully started. Assassin's Creed Rogue used to be one of its best AAA PC games games of its own time will enable full screen for best experience and as you just saw the game opened really quickly on our android device so we'll just go ahead and start a new game and tap on confirm and there we go in just few seconds our assassin's creed rogue has successfully started later on in this video we'll also be trying out grand theft auto 5 so make sure to watch the video till the end at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting about 45 to 50 fps while emulating this game on our android devices even in such demanding scenarios where the entire 3d world is is being rendered at the top left corner you will also be able to take a look at the cpu usage gpu usage as well as ram usage the device which i am using indeed does have snapdragon 8 elite processor and even though still it's using about 70 to 65 percent of cpu and gpu which means even if you have like a snapdragon 8 gen 3 or 8 gen 2 processor android device you should be able to play this game without any issues and as you guys will be able to see it is working without any problems on my android device so this is the power of the game hub windows emulator for android if you have a really good android device it will work flawlessly at the best amount of performance possible compared to any nintendo switch emulator for android and here you will be able to see this game is being emulated at 720p 60 fps at almost high to very high graphics preset anyways let's just go ahead and skip this cinematic and you guys will be able to see our game has successfully started so yeah that was about assassin's creed rogue let's just go ahead and close this game and try out our next game which is going to be grand theft auto 5 so here let's tap on the play now button and here we go so our grand theft auto 5 begins let's tap on the back button and enable full screen you will be able to see our game starts just like that without any issues Where as the other windows emulators for android lot of crashing issues and incompatibility instability etc i think game hub emulator provides you with the best windows emulation on android experience especially if you have a flagship android device there will be no crashing issues no four stop no graphical glitches and it will be a very playable experience so let's wait until our game starts so here we go our game has started and compared to ps3 emulation on android which i recently covered on my channel we tried out GTA 5 on the same Android device, it gave me about 5 to 6 FPS. But just take a look at this Windows emulation on Android is so stable that you get straight up 50 to 60 FPS while emulating Grand Theft Auto 5. 
at almost high graphics in this windows emulator for android and everything works properly so definitely game hub emulator is now very stable and improved quite a lot compared to any other windows emulators for android so let's take a look at this cutscene let's see if there are any frame drops or lag and no there hasn't been any lag even though the fps dropped down to like 19 it wasn't visible at all so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye